Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review Voyagers, the seventh film directed by Neil Berger, which Lionsgate is releasing April 9th, 2021. Um, and dare I say, it might be Berger's strongest film. Uh, I know The Illusionist has a lot of fans, uh, his second film with Edward Norton and Jessica Biel. Um, of course, he also did Limitless with Bradley Cooper and Divergent uh, and uh, the Upside, which uh, of course is the remake of the uh, celebrated French feel-good film, but but really I think that uh, he fares best in genre, and to me this seems like the most uh, complete vision of his to date. Um, it's set in the year 2063, uh, and of course we run through the the uh, usual things happening, or we project to be happening by then. With basically Earth is shot, uh, a new planet uh, that's possibly inhabitable uh, is. 86 years away, so this uh, mission is being put together uh, where they will send children or early teens um, unchaperoned uh, on this uh, journey, and they will have children, but it's their grandchildren that will eventually make it to this planet. Uh, Colin Farrell plays Richard, who's uh, one of the... Uh, He's put together this plan, kind of, and he's not so happy on Earth. He's kind of a loner. He grows attached to these kids as he's teaching them, and he's, he wants to go along with them, which means they can leave him even earlier. So they blast off into space, and we fast forward 10 years, and they're now in their late teens. Um, and we have Christopher, played by Ty Sheridan, and Sella, played by Lily Rose Depp, who's the uh, chief... Uh, medical officer, and Zap, played by Fionn Whitehead. And uh, those two are best friends. Uh, they discover that there's uh, just pouring over some kind of menial reports that a, a weird toxin is detected uh, in the uh, waste disposal system. It might be about the filter, but Christopher's a curious type. Uh, he, he does a lot of digging and finds out that it's connected to this, uh, they call it the blue, which is basically this... Uh, they think it's something along the lines of a vitamin that's put in their water that they have with dinner. And they find out that this is a, a suppressant that will that suppresses their sexuality, uh, kind of keeps them docile. Uh, and the two young men decide to stop taking it and become immediately rammy. They kind of influence some others to stop taking it. Um, but Zach starts to lose control, sexually assaults um, Sella, uh, and then uh, something happens. They lose communication with Earth. Uh, Colin Farrell has to go outside of the ship with Christopher. Uh, there's the possibility that th there's a creature stalking them as well. An accident happens. Richard dies. Now they're left on the own, their own. And all of a sudden this becomes a cross between William Golding's Lord of the Flies, H.G. Wells' uh, Islander Dr. Moreau, uh, all kind of in the parameters of uh, an Ender's Game type universe, which uh, is a good film, but if you don't uh, really like watching young adults and or, and or children, it, it could become taxing. I think that uh, Berger, who also wrote it, uh, probably could have fine-tuned a few things. There are always questions that one might have about why exactly couldn't another adult have been on board, or why didn't uh, in the program, which is kind of this uh, massive text that they are the children are all able to go to to tell them what to do in case of something happening. Uh, doesn't really deal with sexuality, um, which of course is messy, uh, but you know, keeping them on kind of the opposite of what Aldous Huxley's Soma was in Brave New World seems cruel. Uh, there are some interesting philosophical questions that co come up, such as uh, these kids learning that, you know, they're basically the first part of a, a relay in a race that they're never going to see the end of. And maybe they want to focus on themselves and be selfish. Uh, I, I think Berger is leaning into the era of uh, fake news and propaganda and all things that are meaningful, um, maybe a little too obvious. Uh, but I thought Fionn Whitehead was quite good as Zach. Uh, Ty Sheridan does a good job. I was actually kind of impressed with Lily Rose Depp. Uh, I thought she gave a pretty good performance. And also with Shante Adams in what could have been a throwaway supporting role, once again, uh, kind of outshines everybody in her uh, few moments on screen. Um, overall, uh, I would give Voyagers, which I, I believe hits all the marks that it sets out to, um, three out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.